Hello, Beachwood families. I'm Bob Hardis, Superintendent of Schools. Thank you for tuning in to this video update. Earlier this week, our District Treasurer, Michelle Mills, and I were invited to present to the Beachwood City Council about an interesting opportunity that will help keep property taxes low in our city. If the Beachwood community approves building two new elementary schools to replace Bryden and Hilltop School due to their age, the district would need to raise the funds to do so from our taxpayers. However, because our school district's current debt payments will drop by more than half in the year 2027, Ms. Mills and I explained that if the city opted not to collect their 2.4 charter mills, a property tax, for three years, we could partner to keep residents and businesses taxes flat for at least three years. I cannot thank Mayor Burns and his administration enough for their collaboration around this idea. And in addition, we really appreciate the openness of our city council to consider the merits of this pro-taxpayer partnership. I believe that the city council will be voting on this agreement on Monday. This would be a very exciting development and a wonderful demonstration of how our city and our schools come together for the benefit of our residents and businesses. Now, in other news, Beachwood was again named a best community for music education. We are one of just 830 districts in the entire nation to achieve this honor. It, this is a well-deserved recognition of our student musicians' achievements, the hard work and inspired teaching of our music educators, and of the steadfast support that you, the Beachwood community, invests in the arts as a critical component of a high quality education. So thank you. Three weeks from now, we will be coming upon Teacher Appreciation Week. And this month, I have been attending our school building's staff meetings. And I just want to tell you how proud I am of the terrific staff who work in Beachwood schools. They are tireless in their desire to continuously improve and to advocate for the best interests of our students. You'll see many of these folks on our summer hometown hero banners. Let them know you appreciate their work. I know it will mean the world to them. Thank you for watching this update. And I feel as though it's important to say today both go Cavs and stay bison strong.